so I actually went to I went to Russia three times to, to look at buying um, a refurbished ICBM uh, because th that that was the best deal, um, and uh, I can tell you it was very weird going there in in 2000, 2001, 2002 going to the Russian rocket forces and saying, I'd like to buy two of your biggest rockets, uh, but you can keep the nuke. <laughs> uh, I need to first lay a, a little bit of a foundation here. Two days into your physics program at Stanford University, you quit school to start a company called Zip2, a media company, right? Uh, which you sold a few years later for a paltry $307 million. Then four years later, um, eBay buys PayPal. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, and now you've taken those two enormous successes and you've set your ambition on space. How did you go from online payment systems to building a spaceship, essentially? And, and when I started SpaceX, um, I, it, it actually, it, initially, I thought that, well, there's, there's no way one could possibly start a rocket company. I, I wasn't that crazy. I gave basically both SpaceX and Tesla from the beginning uh, a probability of less than 10% likely, likely to succeed. I, I don't really like risk for risk's sake or, or anything. It's, and, I, and I do think that um, a lot of things are, are very risky uh, with a low chance of success. But if you want to try to come up with an innovative breakthrough, um, that's, kind of, that's going to be how it is. Um, anything which is significantly innovative is going to come with a significant risk of failure. Um, and, um, but, you know, if you, you've got to take big chances in order for the potential for a big positive outcome, you know, just, if, and if, if, I mean, if, if the outcome is exciting enough, then, then taking a big risk is worthwhile. So how can you do that better, uh, than NASA? Well, uh, well, for, you know, NASA is a customer of ours, so there's a, I think a confusion in the public mind that that perhaps a company like SpaceX is competing with NASA, mm -hmm. but but in fact, NASA is a customer of ours. So we're actually uh, providing services to NASA, launch services, uh, and when when the shuttle retires in 2010, uh, so starting in 2011, uh, SpaceX's uh, rocket will replace the space shuttle in servicing the space station with astronauts and uh, and cargo transportation. So obviously the, the financial outcome from such a mission would probably be zero. Um, so anything better than that was on the upside. Um, so I actually went to, I went to Russia three times to, to look at buying um, a refurbished ICBM. Uh, because the, that, that was the best deal. Um, and uh, I can tell you it was very weird going there in, in 2000, 2001, 2002 going to the Russian rocket forces and saying, I'd like to buy two of your biggest rockets, uh, but you can keep the nuke. <laughs> so that, that's a lot more. Um, and uh, that was 10 years ago, I guess. So um, they, 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 I th they, they thought I was crazy, but, but I did have money. So that was, that was okay. Uh, um, so af after my third trip, I said, okay, well, what we really need to do here is try to solve the, the space transport problem and, uh, and started SpaceX. Um, and uh, this, this was against the advice of pretty much everyone I talked to. Um, one friend made me sit down and watch a bunch of videos of rockets blowing up. <laughs> um, let me tell you, he wasn't far wrong. <laughs> uh, think, think, it, was, it was tough going there in the beginning. Um, so so we, we missed the mark there. Um, the, the first launch, I was picking up bits of rocket near the, near the launch site. It was a bit sad. Um, and, uh, but we, we, we learned with, with each successive flight and, uh, and we're able to with, uh, especially with the fourth flight in 2008, uh, reach orbit. Um, and that was also with the last bit of money that we had. In the early days when SpaceX was first trying to get to orbit, they had a rocket called the Falcon 1. Uh, and they launched it three times. All three times were unsuccessful. And they had one more chance. The fourth flight of Falcon 1. And it was me.
Yeah, 2008, we had the third consecutive failure of the Falcon 1 rocket for SpaceX. Tesla almost went bankrupt. We, we closed our financing round 6 p.m. Christmas Eve, 2008. It was the last hour of the last day that it was possible. We would have gone bankrupt two days after Christmas. It was a little nice. He told me that he was waking up in the middle of the night and there would be tears on his pillow. And that must have been disturbing and, and scary. I think it was a dark time. When Elon was going through his sad period, I was so sad. I felt like I had a hole in my heart. And there's nothing you can do. It just hurts so much. NASA called and told us that we'd won a $1.5 billion contract. And I couldn't even hold the quote. It's like, I just look, I just blurted out, I love you guys. <laughs> they saved you. Yeah, they did. Financially and maybe even emotionally. I'll tell you what, that was, a, that was definitely helpful. <laughs> yeah. Elon has a self-confidence that is just, it's breathtaking. Um, and it's especially breathtaking when you think about the things he's confident about. The idea that humanity is going to get to Mars, that not just humanity is going to get to Mars, that, but that he, in his lifetime, Elon Musk, will get to Mars. So um, th thank goodness uh, that that happened. Um, it, I think the saying is fourth time's the charm. <laughs> um, so that, so we, we got the Falcon 1 to orbit. And then uh, began to scale that up to, to the Falcon 9, which is um, about an order of magnitude more a thrust. It's uh, around a million pounds of thrust. And we managed to get that to orbit and then uh, developed Dragon spacecraft, uh, which um, recently was able to dock and return to Earth from the space station. Um, that was... Uh, yes. Thanks. <laughs> that was a white knuckled event. Um, so uh, yeah, it's a it's a huge relief. Still can't quite believe it actually happened. But I do think like I do think the things that we're doing are are you know pretty important to the future. Um, and if we don't succeed, then you know there's well. There's, there's not, it's not clear what other things would succeed. Um, and if, if we don't succeed, then we will be certainly pointed to as a reason why people shouldn't even try with these things. So uh, I think it's important that we do whatever is necessary to keep going. You, know, you, you guys are the, the magicians of the 21st century. You know, um, don't like anything hold you back. Uh, imagination is, is the limit. Um, and um, go out there and create some magic. Thank you. Well, I certainly have lost many battles. Uh, so far, I've not lost a war, but I've certainly lost many battles. Oh, yeah, more than I can count, probably.